Hey there folks, welcome back to Bro Do It Yourself. It's a great morning to be an American. It's uh, Thursday the 11th of January, 2024. Uh, 2 a.m. A little after 2, that's with the Bane of working nights. When I get a couple days off, I don't know when to stop. So anyway, I just need to give you a little update because I'm going to come to a hard stop. I need to grab one of these uh, junction boxes here. I'll tell you what I need to do is get this light off and get a light on you guys. How about that? Mm, yeah, let's do that. So, I'm going, instead of using an L here, to try to make this spin because I want it to run like this, these two. Uh, so we come out of this one to go to this light here. You can see the back light. Really worked out really well. Oh, that's the front light. What am I doing? There you go. I'm trying to come back now a little bit. Um, yeah, I really like that light. It's outstanding. So, been Billy down around. I want to tell you what's amazing is how long it takes to do this kind of stuff. Because uh, I don't do it every day, and I don't have uh, all day to do it. I've just been grabbing out here, out uh, there. But I came out uh, to start it on this you know, a while ago. Maybe about nine or something. And I had to run all these wires. So what I've been doing here is, uh, what I've been doing here is running my bell wire. All I have left to run right now is my neutral. And I'll put the neutral here. I'll run it through this pipe. And I'll cut it. I get it buried underneath all this stuff, so and I'll run underneath this here and leave an extension out. And I'll get a uh, six or eight inch piece and tie it together there with a three way logo. And then uh, I'll grab a, a two and a half foot piece for that. And I gotta do the same thing in this with the white wire. I'm getting kind of tired, so. I don't know if I'll do it or not. I probably will. But tomorrow I need a, to get an L, just a straight L, so I can keep this distance. I already put maybe an inch, inch and a half in between there, and uh, I went and run it. I switch this third switch, which will be uh, good. Then I can start working on my leisure and uh, getting these. I'm, I'm not going really, to. Drop the pace, it's just that I've got a lot of other things I need to be doing too. So, I'm gonna get this one, and I'm still gonna formulate how I'm gonna come out. But um, I want to get electric source for this halogen, so I've got a switch here for that halogen light and behind all this stuff. That's what that is that controls the energy there. So, a lot of monkeying around. You know, reconfiguring and stuff, but I'm uh, starting to like what my uh, result is. If I can say I run the neutral wire, and then uh, I'll be able to terminate all these once I can. It'll block here to go on, and mostly it's just to keep that distance, but I'd be doing it now. I just couldn't get an L that was going to make a bend and look right, so I'll just get that one way L. And, uh, We'll be done with the, uh, the main phases, so that's all I really want to give you guys a heads up about and thought I'd share with you. Um, I'm just going to let my videographer wife do it, and she's in bed right now. She went to the gym late, so I didn't feel like bugging her about that. I was still hooking up the bell wire when she came home at midnight, so um, yeah. Let me get on, let me get the neutral up. That way I'll be as done as I can be on these lights. And probably I'll just go on and uh, 
throw caution to the wind and cinch them all back up. I've got them all locked down, so it's not going to be any whoopsies. Anyway, it just keeps getting better. Thanks for coming back, and uh, I'll try to give you a better update. I'm going to flip the switch, okay? See you. Starting to look like something. See ya.